Today we are going to be upgrading the memory on this iPad 7th generation from 32GB to 128GB. First we will disassemble the iPad and remove the motherboard. Here is the circuit we will be replacing called the NAND. This is where all of the data is stored. So we place the motherboard on the holder and we are going to remove the underfill. This is a hard epoxy around the edges. We use heat at 200 degrees Celsius and a prying tool to remove the underfill ever so gently. Make sure not to shift any circuits around the NAND. We make sure to go around the perimeter of the NAND to complete the removal of the underfill. Next, we move to this corner where the dot is located and we apply heat at 380 degrees Celsius around the NAND. We wait until the NAND loosens up and gently pull it up. Now that the NAND has been successfully removed, we are going to clean it. We apply flux and solder in all areas. And then with the solder wick, we make sure to remove all of the solder. This is followed by a surface cleaning with a cleaning cloth and a dab of alcohol. The next step is to remove the underfill from the NAND by applying heat at 200 degrees Celsius and gently removing it with the prying tool. Then we are going to use this programmer to get the data we need. It will give us the serial number we need from the original NAND. Once you install the original NAND, close the door and press read. This will download the system configuration we need to transfer to the new NAND. Without this, we will be unable to activate the new NAND onto the iPad. Now we install the new NAND and click write. This is transferring the system configuration that was copied from the original NAND. Once it says write OK, the transfer has been completed. Next, we will remove the new NAND and place it onto the stencil. We apply solder paste and with heat at 380 degrees Celsius, we will recreate the solder balls. This process is called reballing. Then with the blade, we go over the solder balls to make sure they are all the same size. Once this is done, apply solder paste and heat one last time. Now we see the solder balls are the same size, so we remove the stencil and apply heat to remove any remaining residue around the solder balls. This is followed by a dab of alcohol. And as you can see, the reballing is ready. Our next step is to clean the motherboard. We apply solder and then with solder wick, we go over the area and clean it out. Do you want to learn how to do this and other micro soldering repairs? Visit our website for our upcoming five day training schedule. We also offer private one to one classes. For more information, visit us at www.cellphonerepairacademy.com. We go back to our pry tool and start to remove the underfill. Our heat is at 200 degrees Celsius. We make sure everything is clean and go over with alcohol one last time. Apply flux and align the new NAND. Place heat at 380 degrees Celsius and once you see the flux boiling, you will know the NAND is attached to the motherboard. Our next step is to restore the iPad using three U-tools. Once it has been restored, you will need to set up the iPad. And as you can see here, the storage capacity now reads 128 gigabytes. This repair has been completed. Thanks for watching.